Sales affirmations, you may be uh, familiar with the concept of affirmations. Maybe this be, might be one of the things you might hear today that you find silly. But um, affirmations are basically positive statements that remind you of something strong about you or your life or strong about something, right? They're, they're, they are a statement that's affirming um, something that's true, and usually they're used for something that's positive, right? So uh, you can use these in any area of your life just for self-help or improving your mental outlook, but we're talking about selling here, right? So we want to become a men more mentally strong salesperson. So putting a sales spin on this regarding sales affirmations, these would be affirmations that help you feel more confident and strong and clear and when you're selling. What you can do is find certain statements that increase your confidence, decrease self-doubt, make you maybe view yourself more as a, as a helper and improve your value awareness. So the, the real easy thing about this is that what we've talked about so far in terms of your consultative sales message can be used as sales affirmation. For example, your value points. Like if you help someone to decrease the amount of time it takes to do something in their, in their organization, then you know that there are a lot of companies out there that are wasting time. So that's an affirmation for you that you can think about when you're prospecting because you can think, you know, you can realize I am helping companies to save time and there are companies out there that are wasting time and there are companies that need my help. So when it's time to pick up the phone, that type of affirmation can decrease your reluctance, it can improve your confidence. By the way, it can also make it more clear for you what you need to say because your value is at the front of your mind. So, by the way, you could use your pain points in the same way, the pain points you help to resolve. You could use a, a name drop example. A name drop example is an example of a customer you've helped. So when you start to get insecure because people aren't answering your call and returning your emails and you feel like, God, nobody needs what I sell, what's going on here? You can think about your name drop example because that's a real example of someone you helped or your company helped and they had some really great benefits from using your product. So when you start to have low belief in what you sell, think about a real example of someone that you helped and that might give you a little confidence when it's time to pick up the phone. You could even think about your product. Now, not necessarily what your product does and its features and whatnot, but when, when we talk about your product, we want to think about ways that you're different. So ways that you're be different and better than the competition or ROI that you can help to deliver. Real interesting stuff about your product that sets you apart from the competition could be a, a, a sales affirmation. So when you think about those things that can make you feel better about calling and make you feel have a better, better mental outlook. The really nice thing about using your consultative sales message as your affirmations is that it puts your message at the front of your mind so you're using that to become more clear, more mentally strong and positive about what you're trying to accomplish. And your message is, is right there in the front of your mind because that's what you're using and thinking about. So then when someone picks up the phone call, for, you're less likely to forget what you need to say. So it's kind of like a double whammy type of tactic there. In terms of implementing this type of tool or tactic, I mean, you could basically Put some affirmations on a piece of paper. If it's your sales message that you're using, it should probably already be on a piece of paper. Uh, you could put your affirmations on a wall, on, in your office, or in your cube. You could look at it when you start your day, you know, when you're, you know, to remind yourself of all the great things that you have to offer and sell and why your clients should, uh, will want to talk to you when you reach out to them. Uh, so you could use it when you start your day or, you know, you could look over it, uh, your affirmations, you know, from time to time when it's either time to make calls or in between calls or whatnot. So 